Hello, thank you for joining me today. We've been reading through A Course in Miracles, the main text, and today we are going to continue reading chapter 21, Reason and Perception. This is section five, The Fear to Look Within. The Holy Spirit will never teach you that you are sinful. Errors he will correct but this makes no one fearful. You are indeed afraid to look within and see the sin you think is there. This you would not be fearful to admit. Fear in association with sin, the ego deems quite appropriate and smiles approvingly. It has no fear to let you feel ashamed. It doubts not your belief and faith in sin its temples do not shake because of this. Your faith that sin is there, but witnesses to your desire that it be there to see. This merely seems to be the source of fear. Remember that the ego is not alone. Its rule is tempered and its unknown enemy whom it cannot see, it fears. Loudly, the ego tells you not to look inward, for if you do, your eyes will light on sin and God will strike you blind. This you believe, and so you do not look. Yet this is not the ego's hidden fear, nor yours who serve it. Loudly indeed, the ego claims it is, too loudly and too often. For underneath this constant shout, and frantic proclamation, the ego is not certain it is so. Beneath your fear, to look within because of sin is yet another fear and one which makes the ego tremble. What if you looked within and saw no sin? This fearful question is one the ego never asks. And you who ask it now, are threatening the ego's whole defense system too seriously for it to bother to pretend that it's your friend. Those who have joined their brothers have detached themselves from their belief that their identity lies in the ego. A holy relationship is one in which you join with what is part of you in truth. And your belief in sin has been already shaken, nor are you now entirely unwilling to look within and see it not. Your liberation still is only partial, still limited and incomplete, yet born within you. Not wholly mad, you have been willing to look on much of your insanity and recognize its madness. Your faith is moving inward, past insanity and on to reason. And what your reason tells you now, the ego would not hear. The Holy Spirit's purpose was accepted by the part of your mind the ego knows not of. No more did you. And yet this part with which you now identify is not afraid to look upon itself. It knows no sin. How otherwise could it have been so willing to see the Holy Spirit's purpose as its own? This part has seen your brother and recognized him perfectly since time began. And it desired nothing but to join with him and be free again as once it was. It has been waiting for the birth of freedom, the acceptance of release to come to you. And now you recognize that it is not the ego that joined the Holy Spirit's purpose. And so there must be something else. Think not that this is madness. For this, your reason tells you, and it follows perfectly from what you have already learned. There is no inconsistency in what the Holy Spirit teaches. 
This is the reasoning of the sane. You have perceived your ego's madness and not been af made afraid because you did not choose to share in it. At times, it still deceives you, yet in your saner moments, its ranting strikes no terror in your heart. For you have realized all the gifts it would withdraw from you in rage at your presumptuousness, wish to look within, you do not want. A few remaining trinkets will still seem to shine and catch your eye, yet you would not sell heaven to have them. And now the ego is afraid, yet what it hears in terror, the other part hears as sweet as music. The song it longed to hear since first the ego came into your mind. The ego's witness is its strength. The song of freedom, which sings the praises of another world, brings to it hope of peace. For it remembers heaven, and now it sees that heaven has come to earth at last, from which the ego's rule has kept it out so long. Heaven has come because it found a home in your relationship on earth. And earth can hold no longer what has been given heaven as its own. Look gently on your brother and remember the ego's weaknesses. A weakness is revealed in both your sight. What it would keep apart has met and joined and looks upon the ego unafraid. Little child, innocent of sin, follow in gladness the way to certainty. Be not held back by fear's insane insistence that sureness lies in doubt. This has no meaning. What matters it to you, how loudly it is proclaimed. The senseless is not made meaningful by repetition and by clamor. The quiet way is open. Follow it happily and question not what must be so. Well, this is a, a, a good section, definitely. The fear to look within. I think in just layman's language, I'm going to say that we should never be afraid to look within because within is where all the answers lie. Within is the only thing that's truly real. As we know, everything else we see is a perception. It's an illusion. So if you'd like additional support with this uh, section of the chapter 21 today, feel free to reach out to me, uh, 907-351-3003. Texting is best. Um, or you can message me through any of the options that uh, where you found this material through Facebook on uh, Love by Light or SoundCloud or YouTube. You can also visit my websites, lindalamp.com and lindalamp.shop. And on the lindalamp.shop, you can also uh, sign up to be a, a light sponsor. It's like a patron if you'd like to support my work. Thank you again for joining me. And I hope to hear from you with your questions. And I'll see you next week. Namaste and much love.